Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you. How can create the controller? How can create the model? So I have created one of the model as a product PHP. So that is our model and also how can manage your all the route. So that is our route option. So into the route area, you can see as I told you that is our root directory into the root directory by default one of the return view page as a welcome. So that's the welcome page is now loaded. So now I just put the things as a blank. Now you can see our project is totally blank. So how can work in our view page in this video? I want to discuss about that things with you for doing this. Like it's pretty much simple things. It's only very much clear to you right now. Like I just create one of the page. So in our view folder area, I want to create one of the page as a main. Okay, I just name it as a main and also there is a blade template. So here we have to define as a blade dot PHP. So now I just create one of the page as a main blade and into the main blade. Now I want to load that page. Okay, so now I just simply define one of the HTML. So I just define our HTML and I just name it as a Laravel Laravel 7 home page. Okay, I just name it as a home page. So that is our title will be as a Laravel 7 home page and in our body area, I just simply define one of the H1 tag. So that is our home page. I just name it as a home page. Okay, so now I want to do I want to load that page. That means that is in our view and that is a view I have created one of the page as a main, right? So we have to define that our root directory in our route area. So in our route, if you go to that web route, here you can see that is our main route. So into the main route, there is a return one of the view page. So I have already created one of the view page in our view folder area as a main. So now I just simply change it. I just name it as a main. Okay. So now this page should be a display. Like I just click on the save all. And now if you refresh that page. Yes. Now you can see that is a Laravel 7 home page and that is our home page. So I think it's very much clear to you. You can see our main that this page is now perfectly loaded in our root directory area. So now I want to do, I want to set up our layout for our project. And also here I want to add the bootstrap. Uh, like here you can see that is, uh, I want to add that bootstrap class. So if you know a little bit the bootstrap, then it's only very much clear to you. So like here I want to design. <laughs> Okay, I want to edit some of the simple design. Like I define one of the bootstrap class. I take one of the div and here I define the class as a container. Okay, I just define one of the class as a container. And also in particular that area, I define another div. And for this div, I define one of the row. So I just simply define one of the class as a row. I just simply added that row. And here I define that h1. I just define that h1 tag into the h1 tag I define as a add your product. Okay, so this type of one of the um, name I would define and also I define one of the button. So for this one I define on the a head if and for this a head if I define on the class. So I define on the class and here I define on the class as a btn btn success. So I just define one of the class as a btn btn success and here I define one of the button and I just name it as a add your product. So this type of one of the button I want to create and now if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page and here you can see our bootstrap is not working because of all I didn't add that bootstrap. So if you want to add that bootstrap you have to go to that Google. And I just define as a bootstrap CDN. And now if you go to that bootstrap CDN, that is a W3 school. So I just open it. And now from here, I want to add our bootstrap only the CSS because it's pretty much simple project I want to create. So I just simply copy that CSS. Okay. So better I just copy it. And now if you go here, that is our head. So before that head, so into the head area, I have to define that link. Okay, so I just simply added that CSS that means the bootstrap mean.css and here you can see I defined that container row and also one of the class for the button. So now it should be work like if you click on the save all and now if you refresh that page like here I just refresh it. Yes, now you can see our container is now perfectly worked and also that is our button. 
So that is one of the bootstrap button I'm using it on here. That is a BTN BTN success. If you want to change it as info, so I just simply define as info one of the another class. So if you know a little bit that bootstrap, then you will well understand about it. Like I just click on the refresh. Now you can see it's now becoming changed. Perfect. And now for our project, I want to create another folder. Then it should be better like here. Uh, that is our view into the view. I want to create another folder as a product. I just define another folder as a product and into the product folder I want to create some of the page okay like here right now we don't need this I just remove all there is a controller will be needed and there is a web route there is our model okay so now in our view I have created one of the folder as a product so into the product folder I want to create one of the page as a index okay index dot blade dot php and also I want to create another one in our product folder. I define that name as a create. So I just simply define that create dot blade dot PHP. And now I also want to create another one. Click on the save as and I just name it as a edit dot blade dot PHP. And for display all that our pay product, I want to define another one, click on the save as and I just name it as a show. Okay, I just name it as a show dot blade dot PHP. And for manage all that our layout, I want to create another page as a layout. I just click on the save as and I just name it as a layout. Okay, layout dot blade dot PHP. And now I just simply save it. So this layout page will be manage all that our page like that is a create page that is edit page index page. Okay, so I will show you like right now I just remove all from here. So that is our layout blade and now I just copy all the things from our main blade and now I just simply paste it in our layout area. So into the layout I just define the title. Okay, I just define the title as a like as a product home. Okay, I just name it as a product home code. So I just name it as a product home code. So that will be title and in our that container area. So here I want to make the things dynamic. Okay, because our every for our every page, we don't need to add the title like in our index page, we don't need to add the title for the edit page, the create page, the show page. For every page, I don't need to add the title because I want to make the things dynamic for the reasons in our layout area i want to define another content part so if you want to make that as a content then you have to define as yield okay i just define as yield yield means that is will be our dynamic part so here i define one of the id as a content okay i just define one of the id as a content so right now this part with this part we can actually manage all that our layout so only our this portion will be updated that means in our el part will be updated for our every page okay so now if you want to use that content id like in our index page and into the index page first of all we have to add that section that means here that is our el part we have to define that our content part so first of all we have to extend our this layout okay so like i show you step by step everything will be very much clear to you so don't worry about it i just define as the extent okay i just define as the extends and into the extent here i define our path that means our page so our page i define in our product folder into the product folder that is our layout blade right so now i want to defining it so i just define as a products so i just define as a product product into the product folder I have created one of the page as a layout so I just simply define that layout and also here I define one of the ID as a content right so now we have to define that ID so here we have to defining it with the section so I just de simply define that section and into the section I just define that section name as a yield as a contain so I just simply define that contain so we have to do we have to end that section so I just simply define that and section. So now friend, whatever the things you will put in particular that area, it should be automatically loaded on particular that position. That means in our this content part area. 
okay so here we don't need to add that container we don't need to add that our title everything i extended with our this product layout so here i define the extend our products so that is our product folder and then in our product folder that is our layout okay so whatever the things you will put in our content section it should be simply added that section in our that part area okay so that is actually totally dynamic so step by step each and everything will be very much clear to you so i have created some of the page in our product the index the edit the create and the show for this display all that our show details and i just manage that things with this layout okay so here i make the things dynamic and i extend it and i just define that section okay so you know next video i want to do i want to read all that our data and display that data in our this index page because i have already defined one of the database table so that is our database table so right now they have no data so literally i will also insert some of the data in particular that table area and then i re read all the data and visible it in our index page so you can read it in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video